Hi, welcome back to One Word a Day. I'm Sophie, your guide into the world of Chinese language and culture. I'm going to review what we learned yesterday and show you a new word today. So yesterday we had this awesome culture from classical Chinese literature, the best. A uh, lot of people say that's the number one uh, novel, very thick novel about the rise and fall. I mean, from the peak time to the fall of this um, prominent family 250 years ago. Um, so Jin Yu Liang Yuan, that means perfect match because gold, symbol of wealth, and Yu, symbol of uh, you know, intellectual power or purity, you know, something subtle in, in social status. Like this two are a good match. And today we continue with the word yuan. So yuan, I didn't really give you a, a clear um, definition from yesterday. So I will spend some time here. Yuan on the left side is um, textile. So by itself, si, it's like silk. Um, something related to fiber that you know weave together you can see kind of like that structure and then put together yuan is the sound maker right so put together yuan means the edge of the clothing because in ancient times the the adornment of clothing is like by the edge like like my clothing like along the edge there will be this decorative um embroideries or something like that to to make it more delicate so it's not a plane, right? Um, so it came from the, 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 the meaning of the edge, the border of something to like there are connections between things. So if you follow something, you're going to somewhere else, right? So there is this connection. So that's this, you know, matchmaking thing, uh, oops, that um, like from the border, you know, the meaning of the border a, a evolves into the meaning of things are connected. If you go along the border, you're going to somewhere. Um, so it becomes um, a good match, a good connection. And, um, and from that, it goes one step further, it becomes a verb. Like if you go along the border, so if you follow the trail, so to speak. Um, so that becomes follow, the verb. And mu. Mu is, we can tell, right, from the image of the tree. So this is like the canopy of the tree um, in Chinese structure because it's a rectangular. So we have this structure as the main frame of the tree and then the canopy of the tree. And you can see that um, mu in any word in Chinese that related to plant, to wood. So follow the trees and then qiu yu. Qiu. <laughs> it's hard to explain because it's hard to visualize. Like what, what is that? You have this cross thing and you have this four four dots on the side and you have one dot on the on the top like what what is that <laughs> right um so i looked up it came from this oops image of a fur coat actually so um this is probably the collar and then these little dots thing are the fur uh going sideways and that is um the qiu is the top portion, basically the fur por portion of the code. Um, because at, at the bottom is uh, the word for clothing. So something furry clothing right, at the bottom. So when it's taken out from this complicated word, um, it carries some, somewhat of its original meaning like a fur cold, and then it becomes something desirable. And then they become desire. <laughs> so it 
I use the word seek means like that is something you're looking for. You want that. And yu, yu, uh, we sort of can tell it comes from the image of fish, right? This is the head of the fish. These are the scales of the fish. And this is the tail. We have to simplify this somewhat, right? So this is basically the structure of a fish. So like, what does that mean put together? Like why you follow trees to seek fish, to seek fish. Like fish doesn't live on trees or even on land anywhere close, like you're going the wrong way, right? That's exactly what it means. Uh, it means futile, like you are putting a lot of work. You'll probably wander far, spend a long time looking for fish among the woods, in the woods, but you're not going to find it for sure, guaranteed. So the whole, whole um, work you put into it, it's futile. Like you don't get results, anything from working so hard simply because you go to the wrong way. So that phrase um, teach people like pay attention to where you're going. What's your goal? Are you going to the right direction to reach your goal? So yuan mu qiu yu, simply telling you, oh, uh oh, you're going the wrong way. You're not going to find fish here. Um, and with wood and the fish together, I'm thinking, okay, like what would be a good image to present here? So I find wood block art of fish pictures. So we, we this is actually Japanese art because wood block, it was huge in Japan, like maybe a hundred years ago. And interesting how culture uh, circulate along the globe. So it's a Western um, perception or way of uh, you know, depicting art. Uh, when, when Japan had this encounter of Western culture, they incorporate that art making techniques or you know, the visions or perspective, whatever, into their art making. And then woodblock beca became their thing. And their stylized, like highly stylized artwork um, in turn, like influence the, the Western culture. Uh, uh, I think the art deco or something like it ha has its roots influence from Japan's highly stylized uh, depiction of objects in life. So here are two fishes on some plants. Um, and you can see a little bit of calligraphy, um, Chinese characters. So that just shows like Japanese culture was heavily influenced by uh, Chinese culture as well. So they have our characters and but this wood block art making is totally like Japan's signature. And we all know that famous wave um, artwork, right? That, that's the wood block uh, from Japan. So um, I looked up, so fish in Chinese as well as in J Japanese cultures means abundance that came from the sound of the fish, which is yu. Okay, yu, we have another same sound, but different meaning character called a yu. Um, so it's written differently, means have a different meaning. That means abundance, means extra actually. So um, something like we use, if you, have a, if you have a number, which is not round with decimals, behind it. That decimals was called yu shu. So it's like extra numbers not rounded up. So yu by itself simply means extra, something extra. So when you have extra, that means you, you have enough and then you have on top of that um, extra fortune or assets. Um, so that's a good sign. That means you are well to do. You don't have to struggle to survive. You're in a comfortable place. So that's what, you know, people people seek, you know, seek, ask for um, back then and now as well, right? So yu, because it carried the same sound, become this symbol of you, you don't, you don't um, it's not really wealth. It's like you have enough, you have a little bit extra beyond enough, which is very good place to be. And because um, 
it has a second layer of meaning in Japanese culture that's not in Chinese culture, which means perseverance. Perseverance, because um, Japan is a long, is a strain of islands. So they are basically ocean culture. Uh, culture lived uh, closely with nature and it got a lot of, uh, you know, volcanoes, earthquakes, a lot of natural conditions that's hard to deal with. It's really hardship. Um, so in a way, it's, it's a harder living over there in Japan. So people over there really respect nature and they probably capture this fish spirit because they know oceans well. So they, they see perseverance on the symbol of fish. So when we see, you know, fish depicted in Japanese art, uh, we know that that's their way of paying tribute to this quality that they respect so much. So good stories coming from wood and fish, not just food tell, but we all, you know, learn because this is embedded in our language. So whatever we do, we always have that you know, mentality that like we, 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 we shouldn't go the wrong way. If we are looking for fish, we go to the ocean, not the woods. So that's it for today. Thank you for your time. Hope to see you tomorrow.